Well, it's another day, and I'm going to be back on his shirt. Don't know how far I'm going to get, so I'm just taking it one day at a time. Also, I need to create his knife sheath. I'm not going to do two, the, the two knives. I think that gets to be a bit much. I mean, I've got to make an artistic decision here to make it accurate or make it uncluttered. He's going to have to have a handgun maybe in his belt. Um, and uh, so I just got to figure out what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to do a little flap of uh, skin that he would have hanging off of his neck uh, here on this shirt. And uh, and do the fringe. I'm not going to do uh, any kind of beadwork on his shirt, but... Uh, I just uh, want to get the shirt looking halfway decent. And uh, so let's get started. Time to play with some clay. Alright, I've cut out a triangle piece of um, monster clay. I'm going to center it on the uh, collar of the shirt. Now, it's gonna, he's going to have a strap going across his uh, body here. That's going to his uh, pouch. That he's going to be carrying. I'm going to just lightly lift up the uh, piece of leather that it's going across there. because of the wind action. I don't want to have it too high. Okay, I'm going to see if I can peel that off. There we go. I'll put that strap on later but for now I just wanted to get it established and what I'm going to do is press down on that just a little bit because there's going to be the, the uh, shot pouch is going to be a heavy item because he's going to have lead in it and he's going to have uh, gunpowder hanging off the uh, bag you know powder horn so it's going to have a little weight to it and this is a, a light piece of uh, leather it's just to add a little more can eye candy I call it uh, to the uh, piece and uh, I'm going to stuff a little bit of uh, clay underneath this just to fill in the heavy duty hole that's going to be left there. So that it doesn't look like it's filled in, but it is. Okay, I'll be right back after I get this done. Okay, I'm going to paint the uh, monster clay to match the clay. The paint also stiffens up the uh, monster clay just a little bit.
And as you can see, even though it's shiny right now, it does dull down just like uh, the rest of the clay. And you can see it, it really looks like the clay when it dries. All right, I just made a uh, pouch out of uh, monster clay. It would be thinner at the top and thicker at the bottom. And uh, I'm just getting ready to put it back on. I'm going to make a strap for it first. Uh, let's see. I don't want to use that clay. Be right back. Okay. Now I've got to just find my exacto knife. There it is. Alright, I'm going to put the pouch right here. <laughs> yeah. That works out pretty good right there. Now, I've got to have the strap coming down from the shoulder to the uh, pouch and I've got to try to there we go it's going to be pressed into the shirt or at least the pre the shirt's going to react to the uh, strap on his back Now the problem with this being on this sculpting stand is I have to reach over two thirds of the sculpting stand to get to the clay and it hurts my shoulders. I ain't as young and as agile as I used to be. <laughs> uh, I'll be 77 this month and uh, my body's starting to give out. It's slow. Oh, got to make a path through the shirt to the uh, pouch. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to have to uh, do the powder horn now. 
All right, that's uh, one way I can put the powder horn. I think I'll put it more like that. I could hang it below his pouch, but I like it better up here. Now the reason I put the pouch on his left side, even though he's right-handed, is because he'd hold the barrel in his right hand, and with his left hand he'd put uh, powder down the barrel, pull a patch and a ball out of the uh, pouch, and uh, ram it down into the barrel, and uh, that would be from his left hand side. Okay. Okay, we'll let that dry and come back tomorrow and work on the clay a little bit more. I gotta make the nice sheath and all that stuff, so I'll do that uh, tomorrow. And then I gotta work on this, the shirt, the back of the shirt, and the sleeves. Still lots to do before I can even get to the legs. <laughs> It's getting there though. I'm happy with it so far. The key is to have it make sense. And it's making sense to me right now. So. Alright everybody. Have a great night. And I'll uh, see you next time. If you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.